Kicking off uh, night one of the Extreme Outlaw Series tonight. Um, first weekend, pretty, pretty excited actually. Uh, you know, we started or finished out the year last year pretty strong. Um, started off this year pretty strong at Chili Bowl with a good run. Uh, led some laps there, so uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to get here with the gear wrench Toyota powered uh, midget. Just it's gonna, I think it's gonna be an exciting year and. Uh, I think it's a year we, we have a shot to put ourselves in positions to uh, win a championship and um, you know just do the best we can and um, I think we have a really good opportunity this week and to show out and kick off the season the right way so um, you know I'm really looking forward to it so see what we can do tonight. I bet you don't remember me. Car number. Hey Robert, I was just going to put them up here this time. It's not all the way on there yet. Does that look about straight? The logo kind of goes down, so I think. I mean, after reading the data on last week's test. What did, what did I need to eat? Huh? What did I need to eat? You said you were taking some gluten free stuff. Some gluten free, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was looking for a car cover because I was going to throw it over that stuff because it's going to get dirty. Yeah. Driver's meeting, five minutes. Oh, yeah, Jace sent it to an art. Driver. Now I'm good, man. Have a little bit better track in group four. Now we're in group two. All right, guys, go ahead and gather in here. Midget drivers will be your drivers meeting here. Sure, everybody else will be lined straight up off of points into two last chance showdowns. The tie break. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a back and number seat for a choice for the top. Back was on top of it. Still, still up. And that was a long time ago. Welcome to the tour. Cannon McIntosh, 10-0-1-1, fastest in this group, and right now your overall fastest qualifier here in Wits Racing. Products qualifying, so Cannon Mac, 1-0-0-1-1. Ah, 
I felt fine. I just thought the motor had a little bit of a weird tone. It was just a little deep. Just a little bit of a different tone than I feel like normal. But, okay. yeah. I mean, it, it ran fine. Like, it had it had power. I just, yeah. I mean, I, I, well, what about the part the car goes? It was good, like, when I, because I, I would just get it rotated and come off on the bottom. Everyone else was kind of hanging out. And I think it was still a little wet down there, but I felt pretty solid down Gear. there. Gear was good. I mean, if you look good, like I was talking about with Barnhill, like, get in the point. Get in the point. Seven, two minutes of nine eight, but anyway, coming off the stool over here, like it looks like it's ready to go, like it got yeah. to wait on it a smidge. So that'll come to us. But as far as like balance wise, it feels okay. Yeah, it wasn't dominant on any side, any corner. Like it was fine. I feel like if you come up on the bottom right now, that's 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 the place to be on exit. It's the bottom. qualifier earlier on in which racing products qualifying comes to a stop and now McIntosh is going to be putting on a show coming through the field here in heat race number four. Yeah. Contact at the back with Cannon McIntosh. McIntosh gets by him for the sixth position. Now McIntosh working on Ronnie Gardner. Number two down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, Cannon Mack on top shelf. Still sits in that fifth spot. It's still battle with Mike Bull back down to turn number one. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't moving with the motor or the engine. It's pretty easy to do right now, I don't know why. It doesn't have any throw. We're talking, we're, we're talking about what he's listening to in his AirPods. Oh, yeah. So we went with High School Musical for pick one and then Taylor Swift for pick two. I said, uh, what, what's the really good song? Uh, Romeo, Romeo and Juliet, Taylor yeah. Swift. That's that one a, really gets yeah, me high. That's a good one. I think you're going with the, the Hanson Brothers. The uh, What's that song the Hanson Brothers Hanson have? Brothers. Yeah, you don't even you're know what that is. are too old for us. Yeah. Our lineup is set for our feature event. Yes, we have heard before the world. So, so we can have a good weekend here. Let's walk away with 10 Gs. Three, the J is the Joe Johnson and the Joe Brothers Rappers. Oh, contact! Right there on Shane Cottle, so proud of the outside. In turn number three, with an 